everybody, this is Jen with Garden Jen's Journey. I'm going to take you for a walk and show you what's happened on the homestead since the last time I gave you a tour. So isn't this walkway pretty cool? My husband just put it in. This area gets really swampy because um, we're in a low-lying area and um, this was all underwater a week ago and it made it very hard to get out to our chicken run here. Now a lot's been done here. We've been cleaning it out. This used to be full of all sorts of odds and ends and stuff because we were just too busy last year to really have much time to clean up. Um, but this year with the quarantine, we have plenty of time to clean now. So <laughs> that's what we've been doing. So I'm going to take you inside the chicken run and show you our babies. They're getting big. Well, for some reason, they're not out playing. Just one. Isn't she pretty? The other ones are up there. I'm going to take you over here. Our big ones are in until I can get a fence around my garden that they can't get through. Because this area they can't get through because there's a wire fence right here as you can see. But on the other side, they can easily get through that fence. Um, so we got to put something else there to keep them out of the garden. And I'll show you why as we get over there. But for now, I'm going to open up our door here. And I'll show you the chickens. Alright, I give a little love tap to just to make sure there's nobody near the door because we don't need them coming out. And there's all our babies. They are getting big. Yep, yep, yep. Big little chick ticks. So yep, the big ones are in here right now. Um, until we get my garden fenced off because I actually have things planted in the garden but as you, as you can see there's plenty of room in here my husband still has some things to get out of here like the big panel there that was up where the smaller one is because they're actually um, getting up into the window we actually have to block that one too because they'll actually jump up in there and they'll get out of out of here and so that's not cool but um for now, they can get underneath the elderberry bushes, which is good. I've got a couple that I'm going to be digging out um, to sell some people some elderberry shoots. Um, where those guys are right there, I'm going to be planting some cherry bushes. So that'll be nice, nice fertile area. And then um, the chickens will be able to get under that um, when the bushes grow tall enough. So yeah, elderberries and cherry bushes will be growing in here. So back along we go down the path and then we're going to go through the wood cutting zone. We got a lot of stuff going on right here so I have to try not to trip. <clears throat> All right. My container area I've really extended. I've got a lot of pots up on ledges and things now so that's good to go. Our dog run got an upgrade. They now have a canopy so they have a shaded area that way. It's kind of cool. So oops, I almost forgot to show you. My husband redid the fence. It gave me a little bit more garden space and the gate works much better. So it's kind of cool. So we're going to go inside. <clears throat> All right, so the garden's starting to shape up a lot. It's a lot different than it was. Um, we were able to get the, the, um, the shape of my rose bed a little more defined, not so wonky. My irises are coming up. My daffodils are just about to bloom. It's like exciting. My roses are really starting to perk up and starting to uh, show new growth, so that's really, really good. And these jugs here and those jugs there all are flowers. And I've got quite a few things that are going on there. I do have some herbs. I have some in dill and some indigo there. And a smoke bomb there. <laughs> She's such a pest. <sighs> 
So I have my beds laid out. I have a trellis that will go here, all along here. This right now is protecting an area where I'm thinking that's my borage that's self-seeded right there. There's a bunch of little seedlings growing right there, so I mark that area so I can dig them up later once I can identify what exactly they are. Um, because my, my pollinator bed used to go this way, here. So it could either be borage or um, safflower that's growing right there. But anyway, so yeah, I have a trellis that's going to go here. And then that one's just a regular bed. My garlic is really, really doing good. Try to get out of this. There we go. So that's my garlic's doing really well. Finally got my third panel. My husband uh, brought that home today. That was such a sweet surprise. So right now, I just got done um, planting my peas. I have some that I started in jugs um, that I finally planted. And those are the taller ones there. And then I have some that I just planted uh, seeds in right here on this, this trellis. So I was so excited, finally got that done. And then we took my shepherd's hooks, which they don't stand very well on their own. They're very, um, oh, I can't think of the word, wonky, um, especially in our wind. So I actually attached it to my cattle panel so it'll stand upright so it won't really move that much. So I can actually hang my uh, flower pots on it and they won't end up on the ground. So more of my jugs, they're doing very, very well. I'll show you a couple of them that are just amazing at how good they're going on. So that is my mustard. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those salad greens. Yummy. And I do have some others in here, but uh, like here's some more salad greens. <sighs> so those are some really exciting developments that we have going on right now. I also have a couple other things that we've done and I'm going to show you those. But um, I'm just so excited of all the work we were able to get done during this quarantine time. And it's nice to finally get my garden situated. My husband's working on a project. I'll probably show you that in a few. But um, making the best of this quarantine thing, let me tell you. So, yeah. <clears throat> my husband was able to get the fence up that I needed um, for um, my indeterminate tomato bed. Um, this will have a variety of tomatoes. We're going to be growing uh, black crim, um, mortgage lifter, purple Cherokee, um, and some, uh, let's see, cherry tomatoes that will be purple bumblebee, and we're going to be trying the blueberry cherry tomato. It's supposed to be really good. So um, this is one area that I'm going to be growing my indeterminates, uh, those ones. And then my romas will eventually go here. And then along the dog run is where I'm going to plant more tomatoes. We're going to be growing lots of tomatoes this year. Oh, my row cover blew over again. That's okay. My little rose is enjoying being potted in its new container. I still have to take the weeds out of it, but I didn't want to stress it too much. This is the big project I got done today. Um, this is my potting shed. This is where I take a lot of my winter sewing stuff and we pot it up for sale um, at the farmer's market. Um, this was a big disaster last year. Everything kind of just got thrown in here. Uh, so today I took everything out. Let's see if I can show it to you without the sun being so much of a glare. That is all garbage um, that was kind of in here. <laughs> so yeah, so um, I have sorted everything. Everything's in its place. It's really nice. So yeah, all that's ready to go for um, when we get ready to start selling seedlings. And then I also worked on my greenhouse. If I can get the door open. And ta-da! I'm really excited about my greenhouse too because it was a disaster. 
Um, we can't use this greenhouse in the winter time. It does not hold heat at all. Um, it's a very cheap greenhouse. So it works around this time of year. Um, it works kind of as a cold frame um, around March, um, depending on the weather. Um, but around April, it starts really warming up, so I can set some things in here um, that need a little kickstart going. Um, like I have cat mint there. I have a lavender plant that actually came back this year. I was excited. So I brought that in here to help uh, make sure it has a good warmth to uh, really get it going. Um, I just got some, I have some ornamental grass. It's really, really pretty, but it got infested. I guess that's the way I could use it um, with um, regular grass. And so I had to separate what I could as far as the chunks that weren't too heavily saturated with the regular grass. And then we just repotted it. And we'll see how that goes if they do okay like this i'll actually be able to sell some of these to other people um and then have enough to replant myself but yeah and then eventually these pots are all ready to go they've been fertilized and i have good soil in them these are where i'm going to be growing my hot peppers uh, my jalapeno and my cayenne peppers will be in here um, and I might put other peppers in here as well, depending on how the space goes. Because peppers like it hot. And here in central Michigan, I'm in zone 5B. But sometimes our weather is still really, really cool. And, and it's not hot enough for peppers to do extremely well. So this is the one thing I use the greenhouse for during the summer. Is my peppers. And these are my cherries. They are uh, still babies, as you can see. Um, but those are what's going to be planted in the chicken run um, eventually and we'll put uh, cages around them to keep the chickens from getting to them until they grow a decent size. So yeah, that is really, really cool. Um, I was able to get all that done today. Um, really feel good, a sense of accomplishment. And that's big sometimes, um, especially if you've been following me on my journey. You know my health sometimes really is down the tubes. And to be able to get out here and get all that done today um, and all the work that we've been doing throughout the last couple weeks is just really uplifting and, and helps get you out of the dumps a little bit. I'm going to take you over and I'm going to show you my, what my husband's been working on briefly and then uh, we might call it a day, hey? So this is what my husband has been working on. It's a brand new equipment trailer. We're starting to outgrow that little bitty one, um, which is good. Uh, this is our uh, fifth year in business and to now need a bigger trailer, um, that's really exciting. So he's been working on rebuilding this trailer uh, for the la last couple of weeks and uh, it's just been awesome. So that's what he's been doing. So that's the journey this week. We've had a lot that's been going on, a lot more to still do, but we're so thankful for what we've been able to get done. So um, thank you so much for following me. Please subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated on our journey. And if this uh, journey uh, was in any way um, inspirational to you, please give me a video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Bye!